This is the calibration video for Waylog 3030. First we are going to get into the calibration mode by waiting for the 3030 to power up, go through its startup routine. It's on the main page. We're going to uh, press the pages key or the turning key. We're going to go into the factory settings we're going to enter the passcode which is 4084 and we're going to go to the calibration and we're going to uh, hit the enter key we are going to calibrate the bucket for this particular example we are going to allow the bucket to have a auto uh, capability of adding and once we've done that Immediately, it brings up the first screen which says dynamic full lift right up here. And you can see that it is asking for a fast lift, hence the rabbit. You can tell that it's asking for weight to be in the bucket. So at this point, you do not need to know what the weight is. You just need to have a full bucket. What we tell people is, is that this is the teaching mode. You are teaching the scale what your loader looks like and how your loader hydraulics behave when there's loads and not loads on in the bucket or on the forks. So at this point we would load the bucket and do a fast lift. And you can see down here that it read the speed out and it read the uh, the pressure as well as a percentage. Once we the bucket is in the air we have completed the full dynamic fast lift we pressed the, the uh, uh, check key and now it asks us for the slow lift at this point we would be running the loader near idle and we would lift again notice that the speed here in milliseconds is longer the pressure is roughly the same and it has set the curve and offset factor for us. Once we've done the uh, full lifts, dynamic lifts, it is asking us for the empty dynamic lifts. It is the exact same procedure, except at this point we would not have any load on the bucket whatsoever. And we do a fast lift and then we do a slow lift. Again, this is with no material in the bucket. So at this point, we have set the uh, speed compensation. Then it will ask us to do a normal speed lift with nothing in the bucket. This is actually setting the zero. Now it's set that to zero. We press the OK key. At this point, we are going to enter the calibration weight. For our example, we are in tons, and so we're just going to enter 4.0 tons as our as our uh, calibration weight, and we're going to lower the bucket and lift it. And it has it has in fact taken our calibration and if we as you notice that it did say calibration okay now that we have uh, a a calibration a calibration in the unit when we bring it back into the normal operate mode it will with the same load in there even though we uh, even though we we have not verified that this is the actual load with that same load in the bucket we should be able to raise the bucket and have it read four ton and there you go so if it repeats in the operate mode then you would uh, 
repeats what you've told it, then that would complete the calibration. 